is a big day for the National Cancer Society. Thousands of cyclists are pedaling right now on their way to the Atlantic Ocean for the 52nd bike bikeathon beach to bridge to the beach. You're taking a live look at the Ben Franklin Bridge that is closed to traffic right now until 8 o'clock this morning. Let's get right out to CBS News Philadelphia's Ross to take live as that event gets underway. Hey Ross. Hey Jan, you caught us at the perfect moment. The first group of bicyclists just taking off now from the base of the Ben Franklin Bridge, heading all the way to Ventnor City, New Jersey. We're talking down the shore, nearly 70 miles. And this is for a great cause, like you mentioned. It's all for the American Cancer Society and the work that they do to try and end, end cancer as we know it. Look at this. You don't see this every day. Thousands of bicyclists crossing the Benjamin Franklin Bridge, but that is exactly what's happening right now. They've shut down the bridge to all traffic just so that these bicyclists, bicyclists can make this epic journey. And uh, yeah, they're all geared up and ready to ride. A lot of happy faces, a lot of lively energy. We'll see if that changes by the end of this nearly 70 mile trek. And again, this is all for the 52nd annual American Cancer Society Bikeathon Bridge to the Beach presented by Metadose. And a ton of these uh, riders are cancer survivors themselves. This is a cause that's close to their hearts. This is actually the largest single day biking event for the society. They're expecting to raise more than $1.3 million directly from this event. It's an incredible amount. I know they've already raised nearly a million dollars before this event even started. And uh, it's they're continuing to raise money as they go. And again, their goal is to end cancer as we know it. But also, they do a ton of work in the meantime to help cancer patients, uh, their families, and with treatment and uh, you know everything that comes with just this horrific disease that is cancer. Now I'm going to outline that the ride itself not an easy one. I mentioned it's nearly 70 miles. We've all made the trip down the shore I'm sure. It's it's a long drive let alone a bike ride so uh, they've got quite a, a, a journey ahead of them but they've been doing this for more than 50 years so a lot of these riders are multiple time riders. They've done this before. They know what's in store for them and what's ahead. They're going to take some breaks along the route for uh, you know to rehydrate and refuel with some food but Jan this is going to be a great day for a bike ride the weather is just perfect right now it's got that bit of cool air that you want if you're going on a run or a bike ride so uh spirits are high and they're hoping to raise more than 1.3 million dollars Jan I'll send it back to you yeah you just never know at this time of year what kind of weather you're going to get what a perfect day for it and you mentioned Ross such a great great cause we're happy we could catch them biking off here yeah, uh, we're just seeing literally thousands of these bicyclists. And I did want to also mention that, uh, of course, the Ben Franklin Bridge is closed for these bikers. If you're planning on driving over the bridge, it's not going to be reopened until 8 a.m., so just keep that in mind. Of course, we've got plenty of other bridges to get you between New Jersey and Philadelphia, but today is all about the American Cancer Society's Bikeathon, and uh, what a great cause it is. What a cool uh, image this is, watching so many bicyclists start their journey here on the Ben Franklin Bridge. I'll send it back to you. And